babies! Happy Fury Friday! It is really nice to be on this bike again. You know what's even nicer than that? Being out in February. How about that? Middle of February. Almost uh -huh. exactly the middle of February, actually. And being able to take the Fury out is even... even makes it one step cooler than that. This bike is not the warmest bike in the world to ride. My feet are forward and wind is blowing straight up my pants, but I don't care. <laughs> it feels good. I love being out here. I do too. And during the week, on a work day, you come home and it's still kind of light outside. And it's warm enough to ride. That is a bonus. So we're going to get into something today. We're going to talk about the cost of riding. Our buddy up in uh, South Dakota, Two Wheeled, he did a video on this not too long ago, so we'll kind of integrate on that. Everybody go check out Two Wheeled's channel. Him and Molly are pretty cool people. They will also be coming down for GPMM, which there will be a video coming out on that soon also. But the cost of riding, so what we're, what we're dealing with here between Miss Stevie and I are two completely different opposite ends of the spectra. Because she is on a bike that she bought brand new. I'm on a bike that we bought used. That was a fraction of the cost of her bike. Um, by the time you get the, the leather jacket, the heated liner I have on underneath it, which is not plugged in, but I put it on just for a layer. Um, riding shoes, riding gloves. I have multiple pairs of riding gloves and these are these are the ones I wear when I'm not wearing my heated gloves when it's cool out these are gauntlet gloves and there's uh, there's so many different ways to do it so a helmet a helmet will cost you if you're just starting out and you're not sure if you're gonna gonna enjoy riding and stuff like that and take up the hobby for sure you can get a cheap helmet our Icon helmets were full face helmets. I think they're like 130 bucks a piece. My very first helmet was like a $50 helmet on Amazon. My first full face helmet was like a $50 helmet on Amazon. Um, if you are going to go to a Harley dealer and buy a bike, you do not have to have a Harley helmet. You don't have to have Harley socks. You don't have to have Harley underwear. You don't have to have that stuff. You can get it if you want it, by no, all means. It's, it's very high quality stuff. Is it the best quality out there? Mm, I'll argue with that. Um, so you can start out fairly cheap. If you're going to go with the half helmet, if you buy a, a bike where you just want a half helmet, half helmets, guys, are 50, 60 bucks. Good ones are 100. My badass helmet is a really good half helmet, and it was 100 bucks. The one that Miss Stevie is still trying to locate, which we're having a hard time finding, uh, that badass helmet is $249 because it's got real diamonds in it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, gloves, you can you can find cheaper gloves, guys. You can go to a, a motorsports store. You don't have to buy the ones that say Harley on them from the Harley dealer. Uh, there's a lot of people out there that ride that honestly have never even been to a Harley dealer. That's, or don't wear gloves. <laughs> right, that's okay. You don't have to wear gloves. But in the when it's cool out, I recommend some gloves. I recommend some good riding gloves because I wear gloves all the time. Um, just because, number one, the top of my hands back in the day used to get sunburned real bad. So I wear gloves to stop that from happening. Uh, I also wear gloves for the grip. I also wear gloves because when I used to put suntan lotion on, it would ruin my grips on my bike. So there's, a, there's many things that you got to think about there. Um, there's riding pants. Miss Stevie got her first pair of riding pants a couple weeks ago. She says that she's never going to wear them. Uh, they're Kevlar lined, but she doesn't like the way that they feel. Um, but those you can get <laughs> riding pants cost you around 100 bucks, 130 bucks for a cheaper pair, but they've got Kevlar in them. Um, they're slide rated for how long you can actually slide on them before it starts going through the Kevlar and wearing holes in your skin instead of your pants. Um, riding shoes, I recommend a good pair of riding shoes. There are shoes out there that uh, are not the most expensive. 
but I research everything and the Harley shoes are really really a good deal for the money because they're just they're they're good shoes and they're about the same price as everybody else out there it's pretty weird but now you can get riding boots and you can go through the moon on those in price but um, I recommend also a good jacket it doesn't have to be a leather jacket they make uh, they make the textile jackets are actually I per what I prefer to wear I'll wear leather in the winter and stuff um, but if I'm not if I don't have my windshield on a, uh, a leather jacket becomes a sail because the wind will not pass through it so that's something else to think about but you can get textile jackets fairly decent prices that have armor in them that armor makes a big deal and the shoulder and the elbows and a back protector and stuff like that 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 stuff all makes a difference so as far as getting the initial price or the initial cost out of the way of buying the bike um, riding is can be very expensive and it can also be done on a budget fairly cheap for years I never wore gloves for years I wore a half helmet for years I wore regular jeans for years I wore a t-shirt and I maybe threw on a leather jacket or something that I bought somewhere along the line that I just kept with me most of the time most of the time it's just hoodies I like to wear hoodies because I like the movement but that's also why I got into the textile riding stuff like Miss Stevie's coat she's wearing there. That's a textile coat that is very thin and is warmer than a leather jacket by far. Because if you guys know Miss Stevie, you know that uh, she gets cold really easy. I do. But yeah, it can be done. It can be done on a budget. There are also people out there that will take their safety over the cost any day. There's also people out there that will look at the cost before they look at safety. I can't say that one is right and one is wrong. It's personal preference. Like you said, it's a preference, but you really have to get out on the bike to really know what you want, I think. Mm, I'll agree with that. It's also funny when you ride after a while the things that you will spend money on and the things that you won't spend money on because some of that stuff will make you sit there and think why am I okay spending money on that but I'm not okay spending money on that a couple weeks ago I asked Miss Stevie if she wanted a computer and she said no I want uh, a dyno tune and a tuner instead an air cleaner to ask me that like five years ago I would have said no she would have told me that I didn't need something like that <laughs> yeah that's half the fun of the bike oh that's another expense and you're gonna find out making your bike your own is a lot of fun it also costs money no that Siri thing on your phone's not getting annoying at all oh if you were asking man. it's not nope. <laughs> I'm gonna shut it off when we get there <laughs> Yeah, we're on our way to the bank, so we'll be back with you when we get done there. So who here thinks it would be cool to have a suicide shift fury? We cannot see you. It's dark. <laughs> Me! I think that's something we should look into. So this would become a clutch, which would be a cool clutch. Yeah. Because it's crappy as a shifter, that's for sure. These forward controls are a joke. If anybody's got a stock pair of forward controls, 
uh, and oh. you're not doing anything with them, send them my way. You know what I love about this bike is how simple it is. It doesn't have all the, the crap on it, like the all the stuff in the dash. The It's got trip A and trip B at the time and uh, the odometer and that's it. <laughs> So I think we're just gonna end the video here. Everybody, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, subscribe. Hit the bell and notification so you know when we load up next. And until next time, everybody stay cool and we will see you on the road. this you're gonna have to do the ordering and everything this time <laughs> you're welcome <laughs>